Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this pink bubblegum inspired cake. We're going to be using my favorite vanilla cake base which we've colored pink with gel food coloring and we're going to be frosting our layers with an American buttercream. And all the recipes that I'm using today can be found on chillsweets.com. I'm using an offset spatula to smooth my buttercream and it's important that we get a nice even layer of buttercream between our cake layers. Now that our cake layers are stacked, I like to press down on the cake layers to make sure there aren't any extra air bubbles trapped in our buttercream. Next I'm going to apply a crumb coat of frosting, which is our first layer of frosting that's thin. I'm going to start at the top of the cake and then I'm going to work my way around. Once smoothed, we're going to chill the cake for about 5 minutes to let the crumb coat set. Once the crumb coat is firm to the touch, I'm going to apply a second layer of buttercream that's a little bit thicker. And next comes the really fun part. Using a small offset spatula and buttercream that I've colored three different shades of pink with gel food coloring, we're going to apply blobs of buttercream around the cake and also to the top of the cake. Once the cake is fully coated with our bits of pink buttercream, we're going to use a bench scraper to go ahead and smooth those blobs around the cake, creating a kind of a watercolor effect. Once the sides of the cake are smooth, I'm going to work my way on the top and go ahead and spin while I hold down my cake bench to smooth the top. I also added a fun sprinkle border around the base of the cake. For the bubblegum inspired bubbles, I took small balloons covered in shortening and dipped them twice into pink unflavored gelatin. Once the gelatin had fully hardened, I carefully popped and removed the balloon. Using a pair of scissors, I then trimmed away the uneven edge around the base of the balloon. The bubbles are then ready for the cake. I gently arranged them in a semicircle around the top of the cake. I used the largest bubbles in the center of the cake and then worked my way to the edge of the semicircle with the smaller bubbles. Once all of my bubbles were stacked, I also added some sprinkles to the top of the cake. Now that the cake is fully decorated, it's time for the best part. We're going to cut into this cake and see all of those beautiful pink cake layers. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like and subscribe button below.